besties and welcome back to my channel i've had a lot of people ask me on instagram how i do what i'm about to talk about and what it takes and all of that fun stuff and i figured i might as well go ahead and film a video more like make it a series because there's way too much information to be sharing on this topic and i don't want to overwhelm you guys Each time I make a memory, then I try to make it with you. This is going to be an information sharing video, but we all know too much information can be overwhelming. So I'm going to try to break this up into little bits of pieces so that you can be able to process it, understand it without being overwhelmed and make smart decisions while you edit. And obviously you guys already can tell by the title below, I'm going to be talking about cloth nappies. If you watch my videos, you know that I use cloth nappies. I'm completely passionate about it. And I try and share as much information as I possibly can on this topic, because honestly, I feel like I have had enough experience, obviously, to be able to share valid tried and tested methods and all of that fun stuff today i'm going to be tackling newborn cloth nappies take it as a beginner's guide to newborn cloth nappies or to using cloth nappies on your newborn i'm specifically doing this video to give you guys ideas on where to start how to start because that can be very very extremely overwhelming i'm going to tell you guys a bit about what we use how we use it and how it works for us and then of course i'm going to be telling you guys the different types of newborn cloth nappies so the first thing you want to understand when it comes to cloth nappies is that there are different sizes of cloth nappies there are specific cloth nappies made for newborn babies and then there are other nappies that are made from birth up to potty training this is what it looks like so this is from birth to potty training and this is for newborn specifically the difference in size this one is teeny tiny for newborn and this one obviously is bigger for from birth to potty training you might be wondering why it looks that big if it's from birth to potty training this one has got little snaps right here that you can use and this is probably a really bad color to show you let me use this one it's the same basically from birth to potty training so it comes with little snaps right here that you can use to resize your nappy to make it fit your newborn baby. You basically would take this right over here and bend it over like that. And then it snaps into place and basically just resizes the nappy. When it comes to newborn cloth nappies, you get the all-in-ones and you get the flats, the hem flats that you can use with nappy covers. This one is an all-in-one. Inside, it's got two insets. So this one's got a bamboo inset, two bamboo insets, and the top one is layered with microfiber or a sort of a fleecy feel so that your baby's bum can be nice and dry throughout the whole time while the baby's wearing the nappy, even with pee. The second inset that is not attached to the nappy. This one also has two bamboo insets, but they are both attached to the nappy. When it comes to flats, what you essentially need is your hemp flat, which is basically just a random square, nothing too extraordinary, a nappy liner. This is what you're gonna be putting on top of your hemp flat so that it keeps the baby's bum nice and dry. You're gonna need a nappy cover. It looks like a cloth nappy, but it's essentially just a cover. There is nothing inside. And then you need a snappy depending on the fold that you're going to be using this works best with the origami fold you're going to have to decide whether you want to use the origami fold or the pad fold and there's another one i'm not too sure what it's called but it kind of sort of looks um, similar with the origami fold these can be either with velcro or with little snappy or snaps they call it all in ones are typically the easier ones just because everything is in one nappy like i just showed you guys it is basically this which is a nappy cover and inside the nappy cover is two little insets if you want you can sort of like add another inset to make it um absorb more both of these nappies have got snaps they are snap nappies they are not necessarily velcro and uh, you're able to adjust them to fit your baby typically cloth nappies fit best on a baby that is i want to say more than three kgs bigger um i've noticed that with noli bear who was born a preemie so she was born at 2.1 by the time she got home she was about 2.6 and the cloth nappies did not fit her very well even when i readjusted them i resized them they still wouldn't fit her very well and by fit what i mean is this right here on the side 
there was still space left around her thighs which meant there was a bigger potential for ptb um leaking on her and i did not want that to happen so i waited a little bit for her to gain a little bit of more weight but as soon as she was 3.2 kgs we were able to use the cloth nappies on her and they have never leaked to this day when it comes to where to start and how to start i always 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 advise every single person who asks me on instagram to go ahead and buy maybe one maybe two or one of each kind when it comes to the cloth nappies to try them out first before you throw all this money into buying cloth nappies only to find out that it's not your cup of tea or you don't like it or it doesn't work for you or you're too frustrated to even try and figure it out and by one of each i mean a flat with a cover a pocket nappy an all-in-one a sleeve velcro snaps all of that fun stuff so that you can try it out be aware you can buy a pocket nappy that has velcro and a pocket nappy that has snaps so you can sort of do like a two-in-one kind of thing so that you don't have to waste again money on things you're going to try and potentially not like or you might like you might be thinking that's a crazy exercise but when you look at the flip side you're only probably going to spend what 500 rand at most and if you don't like it you're able to resell it the overwhelming bit when it comes to cloth nappies is not knowing what to choose and what will work for you doing the experiment of buying one of each will not only answer your concerns and uncertainties with which one to use but it will also address which one will work for you because you're going to have a chance to try that out you want to get a bam balm or a nappy cream that is specific of cloth nappies the one that we use is this one right here by Olive. it has got natural products Product, which seriously just melt away when you wash the nappies and it doesn't clog the nappies or make your nappy less absorbent normally when you buy uh, your clog nappies whatever website that you're buying from they more than half the time sell the bum creams that you can use on your baby's bum with cloth nappies so you don't have to stress about it so what works for us right now is the island ones as well as the flats the only thing i don't like with this nappy is the fact that if i want to give the insets a little bit more wash with a little bit more hot water like 40 degrees upwards i can't necessarily Really do that because it's going to ruin the nappy cover so i always have to wash it at 30 degrees and below maybe multiple cycles but not necessarily anything above 30 degrees just to make sure i don't ruin the nappy cover we have also been using flats so far i've been loving using it as in the pad fold just because the origami fold sort of gets wet all around and i hate it when molly bear gets wet all around her waist it just it makes me so uncomfortable that's what works for us right now i will obviously be trying the origami fold as she gets older because these hemp squares I'm going to be using to boost her nappies because these are for newborn sizes there are bigger ones they are bigger sizes for when baby gets bigger the nappies that we are using are from bamboo baby this one right here is from bamboo baby as well as these ones from Bidikins. So far, I honestly prefer the Bidikins when it comes to newborn cloth nappies because they're a bit more petite. They fit very, very nicely around the baby. The fit of a newborn is anything from 3 kgs up until I want to say around like four months to five months, depending on how quickly your baby gains weight. They normally say this fits from birth up until around five months, but based on my experience with peanut he was in newborn cloth nappies from i want to say a month old up until just before he turned four months old or at four months old at the most because then they were too tight and they were leaking because he was becoming you know he was growing up i love 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 bamboo baby all in ones these are what i use with peanut when he was a baby um, they work well however i've noticed the fit on this is a little bit bigger than the fit on the bidikins uh, bidikins fit nolly bear much better than the bamboo baby ones I, I do believe these ones will fit her much better as she gets older probably when she's like four months old these are gonna fit amazing and these ones the bidikins will be smaller it looks like i might be wrong it looks like bidikins newborn nappies are a bit smaller than bamboo baby newborn nappy so baby would outgrow these ones quicker than baby would in these ones that is just from my experience from my observation it doesn't necessarily mean it's true so you might want to make an informed decision on that one i'd recommend you buy one bamboo baby and one bidikins and just take it from there when it comes to insets and our newborn cloth nappies what's been working for us is the insets that came with the nappies i didn't have to buy extra insets i have not been using uh the nappies in the night purely because they are not necessarily at that um, optimum absorbency level so they don't necessarily they wouldn't take us through the 
overnight. The one thing you want to do with cloud nappies is wash them a couple of times just to increase the absorbency and to make sure that they don't leak. So we are washing them as we go along and I see the absorbency improving but we're not necessarily at this stage to take it through the night. There are other insets that you can buy to boost the nappy to take it through the night which is what I'm going to be doing but I haven't bought those yet. They are also hemp inside which is what i use on peanut snipe nappies uh, but they have a newborn size as well that's what i'm going to be buying to boost her nappies nolly bears nappies for nighttime essentially that is all that you need to know about um, newborn cloud nappies, where to start, how to start, and all of that fun stuff. It is not a lot, it is not overwhelming. Honestly, if you just take it one step at a time, you will get through it. I had no idea what I was doing when I was doing cloud nappies with K Bear. I basically just dove in head first. It was very interesting to me, and I thought, I want to try this. And uh, we kind of sort of failed but soldiered on. With Peanut, I was more prepared, I knew what I was doing, and so it was complete success from day one. And so naturally, it just filtered through to Gnarly Bear. So you want to give yourself time, you want to be patient, you want to do your research as much as you can. There's tons and tons of videos, there's tons and tons of blog posts. Just do your research, find out, see what works for you, and ask questions there's literally nothing wrong with asking a question pop me a dm on instagram i always respond to dms i also have a highlight on instagram that is specifically for cloth nappies anyway i need to get going Nolly basil is complaining she's sleeping but she's complaining i'm not sure what's going on over there but i hope you enjoyed watching this video let's start the conversation down below let me know if you would try cloth nappies down below i really would love to know and what it is that is scaring you or that's stopping you from trying cloth nappies but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed watching thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you watched this far don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's start the conversation down below that's that for today and we'll catch you besties on our next video bye besties